In tonight's Everyday Hero, we are shining our spotlight on a family-run pet store raising tens of thousands of dollars in the Polar Plunge. But this year, things are going to be different for one team as they plunge in honor of a dedicated member. We're less than a month away from this right here, the mad dash at the oceanfront into the frigid Atlantic, the Polar Plunge. Hey, how's it going? How are y'all doing? How are you? The family-run Carolot Pet Supply Stores has a team that's been plunging since 2016. Over the years, they've raised $90,000 and worn various pet-themed costumes. This year... It's St. Bernard's. They're the international rescue dog, and they're actually uh, bred to do rescues in the cold water and cold uh, regions. So that will help you going in the frigid water. <laughs> I hope so. So if you bring your, your furry friend inside Carolot, there's an opportunity to support the Special Olympics. They have a place where you can make cash donations. You can also scan a QR code on signage in their store and it'll take you to their fundraising page. For what you guys are doing, we have an everyday hero for the Carolot Polar Plungers. This is for you, for your team. Thank you. We're, we're a tight-knit company and um, this means a lot to us. Their efforts supporting the Polar Plunge, the Special Olympics' largest fundraiser, money that goes for helping pay for various athletic events for special needs athletes throughout the year. When you see the look on their faces while they're enjoying the sports that they love, it makes it all worth it. This year will be different, though, for the Carolot Plungers. Their team will be missing one dedicated member, Annette Campbell. She's the one holding the pom-pom and stuffed polar bear. She touched everyone's life that she, that she met, so I, we're going to go in with, as a celebration of her life. Recently, Miss Annette, as she was called, lost her battle with cancer, not before leaving a deep impression on the people who knew her. The energy was different. She just brightened every, every person she met. and. Um, she was just an, an awesome person to know. I get caught, I get to choked up thinking about it. But, um, what will you be thinking about when you plunge? You know, Annette was everyone's biggest cheerleader, and I know that when I walk in there into the water, she is going to be cheering me on from heaven where she is. And so they were saying that even though she won't be there, she she will be there. That she they will, will feel her spirit. And. Isn't that motivation yeah. to, to step into those icy waters, but to do it for a great cause yeah. and for a very special person? Oh. And, you know, at News 3, we're, we're, we're fielding a team. I hadn't yet had a chance to ask you. I figure on live TV was a good time. Wow. Are you, you going to be joining us? Joining in money? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> joining in icy waters? Nearby. Nearby? nearby okay with hot chocolate weight so you're saying there's a chance so there's there's some i think y'all heard the wiggle i'm putting my money where my mouth is but my feet in the water that's a different that's a different question if you want to plunge you can head to our website you can find out more about the polar plunge and also if you know of someone making a difference in our community we want to hear about it and nominate them for an everyday hero at wtkr.com or email us at everyday hero at wtkr.com well still to come tonight